Uh, here we go. So the pieces that we're going to put together, once again, you have your left hand playing B minor um, and pay special attention to the fingering. Fingering is extremely important uh, that you're doing this consistently. So you have E minor with five, three, and one. And what you're going to do is move all your fingers except for your thumb over one. And you're going to be playing one, two, and five. B, G, and D. The next chord is here. Third finger in the middle now. B, F sharp, D. And then your thumb moves over to A. You play A, F sharp, and D. These chords are, this is E minor. This is G major, second inversion. This is B minor, first inversion. And your thumb moving over makes it D major root position. Um, and again, the practice, uh, the, the practice process that I want you to do is to play these chords just like this, just practice moving to each chord, get your hand really used to moving in this way, slowly, slower than I'm doing it, um, just get used to playing them in that order. Once you can do that, uh, we're going, you're going to apply um, the Alberti bass pattern to it. Alberti bass goes like this, bottom, top, middle, top. So you take any three note chord, this one for instance, E minor, and you play bottom, top, middle, top, over and over again. So I want you on each of these chords to just kind of zen out, bottom, top, middle, top. Just keep playing it, exercise, get used to it, become comfortable with it. After you've done E minor for a while, I want you to switch to the next one, G major, top, middle, top, bottom, top, etc., etc. Then the next one, B minor. For a while, and then your D major. Until it feels good. Once you've done that for a while, then you can play it the way it actually goes, which is two each. So I'm gonna go still very slow. And I'm gonna switch. Switch. Switch again. And then you start over. So you get used to doing that. The right hand, we're not gonna put the hands together, but I'm gonna teach you the right hand separately as well. Uh, you need to have both of them really very comfortable before you can uh, try to put them together. Um, so the right hand is uh, uh, question and answer phrases, like we were saying. Um, so you're gonna start here. So it's a two part phrase. You're going G, F sharp, G pick up and go B, C, B. And again, fingering is very important. So three, two, three, pick up, four, five, four. So do that a bunch of times, so it feels good. Then the second one. So that one, F sharp, G, F sharp. Answer is G, A, G. Fingering, two, three, two, three, four, three. The third one, question is, answer. So you're gonna go F sharp, E, F sharp, B, C, B. And then the very last one is just a question. F sharp, E, F sharp. So once you've done those individually, for a while, then you can play them in the order that they go, which would just be like this. Second one. Third one. And the fourth one. 
Okay. So you're not gonna put it together? If you want to do, I'm gonna do it one way. Putting it together is hard, but we can do this. You can play the first chord, and then you play. Right? And then you go to the second chord, second phrase. Third chord. On the fourth chord. Okay? But not with the Alberti bass. I'm, I'm going to have to show you how to do that. That's really hard. Okay.